Hey guys! Alright, so we're just going to jump right in like always. I am so excited about this video. I have not been so excited about a makeup video in a while. Now, I love filming videos, don't get me wrong, but this one I am super excited because I have been obsessed with K-Beauty lately. And I've used K-Beauty products over the past few years, just kind of incorporated some products here and there, but recently I'm really just trying to immerse myself in the culture and really learn a lot about K-Beauty, both the skincare and the makeup aspect of it. There is so much information and so much to learn from the Asian beauty market and I think it's absolutely fascinating. They have such innovative products and they really are ahead of the game when it comes to makeup. I'm so excited to do more videos like this and really incorporate a lot more K-beauty here on my channel. Um, I just think it's so fascinating and I want to learn a lot about it. I want y'all to learn a lot about it. And if you are really familiar with K-beauty and a lot of different products and you have information that you want to share with me, please feel free to comment below and just let me know maybe some different products that you like, some different techniques or some other videos that I should watch or blogs or anything that you think that I should be knowledgeable of. I would absolutely love that. So I'm so excited about this video. Video. I hope y'all are and let's go ahead and get started. So I have a bunch of different Asian beauty products in front of me. I tried to incorporate a bunch of different brands. I didn't want to just use solely one brand for the entire look. So I really tried to find different makeup brands to incorporate into this look. So to start off the skin, this would not be an Asian makeup tutorial without using a sunscreen. Sunscreen is such a huge part of both skincare and makeup routines when it comes to Asian beauty, so I definitely had to pick up an Asian sunscreen. This is the Pure Block Aqua Sun Gel with an SPF of 50. Now this brand, I cannot pronounce it, it's A apostrophe P I E U, is actually part of the Misha brand. So Misha is probably really familiar to a lot of you. Um, they're a really big K beauty brand but what from what I can see online this brand is an extension of Misha now Misha has their own skincare line as well but I believe this is an extension of that or uh, maybe like a sister company to Misha so I actually picked this up at the Misha store and the great thing about where I live is that there are a ton of K beauty stores local to me so I was actually able to go and look at all the different products test them out that's the great thing they always have testers so I went ham and really tested out these products and um, picked out some fun ones that I really really liked something I've noticed about Asian sunscreens is they're a lot more lightweight um, there are different textures there's gels there's kind of uh, I think they call them sun milks um, and this is an aqua sun gel but um, the textures are so nice. They're very, very lightweight. They don't have a huge white cast on the skin and they really sink into the skin. So you don't have to worry about ha having that really thick layer of sunscreen underneath your makeup. They do really sit nicely on the skin. So that's something that's really interesting to me is they have so many different types of sunscreens. And I even saw a cushion sunscreen, which I might try out next because I just thought that was so interesting. Um, but they have all these different formulas and textures for sunscreen sunscreens which is so awesome because sunscreen is such an important part of your makeup routine and your skincare routine but oftentimes you know we don't want to put a thick greasy white sunscreen all over our face underneath my underneath makeup it just doesn't feel right doesn't sit right on the skin so um, I absolutely loved trying out and kind of feeling the different textures of um, all the different Asian sunscreens and this one is really great it definitely has a sunscreen smell but it feels really lightweight on the skin so I really like this one so far and then to further prep the skin I picked up this Tony Moly ferment snail uh, lip treatment and this is so neat so it's like this clear gel type of texture and I absolutely love this for my lips. It's really thick. It's very, very moisturizing. So I'm going to apply that to my lips right now. 
And then one last step before we actually apply makeup, I'm going to go in with the Misha BB Boomer. This is a BB boosting cream which boosts the adherence and duration of BB cream and makes your skin look brighter when applied before a BB cream. It's pearl, antioxidant, and moisturizing ingredients make your skin more radiant while leaving it moisturized. And I 100% agree with all of those claims. I've actually been using this for quite a while now and I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite primers. I used to use this all the time and I just haven't used it in a while so I'm definitely going to use it today. It's got that really pretty luminous finish to it and it just gives your skin a nice glow underneath your makeup. Now it has more of a pinky luminosity to it so it reminds me a lot of MAC strobe cream. So if you're a fan of MAC strobe cream I think you'll like this but it feels really nice on the skin um, and applies like a lotion. So I'm just kind of concentrating this on the outer portion of my face. I don't want to apply it where I have the largest pores because it's just going to accentuate those. So I'm just going to apply it kind of where I would normally apply a highlighter and then just really work that into the skin. All right, so getting into the actual makeup for foundation today, I'm going in with the Holika Holika Aqua Petite Jelly BB. If I can find out which shade I'm in, I will list it below. Um, it is all in Korean on the bottom, so I'll try and find um, this on the website and see what shade I am. But this has SPF 20, which I have really really like about Asian beauty products there's always an SPF in their cream products which I think is so awesome so this is a really cool um, BB cream it looks like a foundation it comes in this gorgeous glass bottle and then when you pull out the top it's actually a little spatula so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this and apply it to my palette so I just took some, applied it to my palette, that's probably too much, but I just applied that much. And then I'm going to go in with my damp beauty sponge, and if you didn't see my last makeup video, I did a Shop Miss A uh, kind of haul and try on, and I've been loving this little sponge holder. So I just keep this right here on my vanity, it keeps my desk area really clean, and I just love this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with my damp sponge go right into the BB cream and apply it all over my face. So I absolutely love this BB cream because it doesn't have that super cool gray undertone that a lot of Asian BB creams have. So this has got a really nice, more of a warmer base to it, which works perfectly for my skin tone. So I highly recommend this BB cream. Okay, so now that we've evened out our complexion, my skin looks so good. It looks healthy. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing any makeup. My skin just looks more evened out, and I absolutely love this BB cream, and I highly recommend it. So for concealer, um, I've been loving this Etude House Big Cover Concealer Pot. I used this in one of my um, past videos, so I'm not going to use this today, but I have been loving this. It's a really, really great concealer, so love that one. Today, I'm actually going to be going in with the Tony Moly Go Cover Concealer. I think this is also called the Active Concealer, but it comes in a little pot like this. In relation to the Etude House concealer. This is a lot more creamy um, and actually when I apply this it reminds me a lot of my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer. If they were to dump that concealer into a jar like this I feel like it would be very very similar. So I'm going to use this today and I am in the shade 01. So I'm first going to apply this concealer with a foundation brush and I'm just going to apply it to any areas where I need a little bit of extra coverage and then I'm going to go in and blend it out with my damp beauty sponge. So a big area where Asian beauty differs from Western beauty is how they give dimension to the skin. So whether that's through bronzer, blush, highlight, there are some differences and I actually prefer more of the Asian beauty style over the Western style. With Western makeup, it's a lot of harsh contouring, super highlighted metallic cheeks. Everything is very overdone and overemphasized and more on the dramatic side. Whereas if you look at a lot of K-beauty trends, it's very subtle. It's just adding that slight bit of dimension just to give the face some extra bit of shape and definition. And that's personally what I actually really like. So with their products, you're going to see that in the formula as well. The formulas are going to be a lot more subtle. They're not going to be as pigmented and they're going to be more on the natural side, which I actually prefer, and I think it's a lot 
more beginner friendly these types of products because you can really work the products into the skin blend them in and you're not going to apply a ton of product all at once and then not know what to do or not be able to blend it out so I have found with the products that I've used so far everything is just very subtle it's just adding that little bit of dimension that little bit of color to the face just to give it a little bit more shape and more structure and more life so I got these multi sticks from Misha um, I have a contour stick a blush stick and a highlight stick and I just want to tell y'all up front I absolutely love the formula of these these are really great because they are multi sticks so you can use them for multiple different purposes these are marketed for the face the eyes and the lips so you can use these anywhere on the face and I 100% agree with that I've applied these to my face my eyes and my lips and they all perform beautifully in all three areas. So for bronzing today, I'm gonna go in with the Coloring Multi Stick in the shade Peanut Brown. This is the darkest shade of this bronzer, so just keep that in mind. They're not going to cater to deeper skin tones. That's just not who their target audience is. So just keep that in mind, and I know it can be a bummer for a lot of you who have those deeper skin tones because they are targeting an Asian audience with more fair skin. So this is the deepest shade, and it's not very deep. It works really well for my skin tone, but I think if you're any deeper in skin tone, this is not going to work. So again, this is in the shade Peanut Brown. The great thing about these sticks is you have the product on one side and then it's got this nice little brush on the other side. I personally don't like to use the brush for the contour stick, so I'm just going to apply this to my face like I would a normal bronzer. I like to apply a little bit at a time and then blend it out. And then if I find that I need a little bit more, I'll add a little bit more. I always say this, but it's easier to add more product. It's harder to take away. Like I said before, the great thing about these products is that you really can't overdo them. They're very subtle. They blend beautifully and seamlessly into the skin. So even if you do find that you apply a little bit too much, don't worry about it. The products blend super nicely. So this is how my skin looks with one layer. Like I said, it's very, very, very subtle, but I personally love this. It gives the skin just the right amount of dimension without going too overboard, without looking too harsh on the skin. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more in areas where I find that I need a little bit more color. And I'm telling you guys, these products blend like a dream. These are so beginner friendly, so easy to use. And if you love cream products, you have got to try these out. And I think these products are so easy to apply and blend into the skin because they are a very moisturizing, hydrating product. They're not sticky, they're not dry. They really, when you feel it, they have, it's almost like an oiliness to it, but not in a bad way. It's definitely got a very moisturizing formula and I seriously cannot say enough good things about these. So now we're gonna do a little bit of highlighting and I'm gonna be going in with the Coloring Multi Stick in the shade Vanilla Sparkle. This is the deepest highlight shade as well. They had one that's a little bit lighter and then they also had a matte one as well. Again, just like the bronzer stick, this has the product on one side, the brush on the other. And me personally, I actually really like to use the brush with this product. I mean, just look how beautiful it already looks on the skin. I haven't even blended it out. So on one side, I'm gonna show you how I use the brush. On the other side, I'm gonna use the sponge. So the brush is really, really soft, but it's very dense. So you just wanna be kind of careful. You don't wanna move around your product too much. But I just like to do these kind of tapping motions and just very, very lightly blend it into the skin. And then for blush, of course, I'm going with another coloring multi-stick. This is in the shade Rosy Angel. So with blush, they like to keep the blush more towards the middle of the cheek and kind of the middle of the face. So just right in this area is where you wanna concentrate the majority of your blush. So I'm gonna apply it right here. Normally I would apply it right here and then kind of blend it back along my cheekbone, but they keep their blush just right in here in this little center portion. And it really gives the skin that more youthful, young, healthy appearance which I think is so pretty so I'm just gonna apply a good amount and it's almost like you're applying it right underneath where you applied your concealer I mean it's pretty close to um, your eye area apply a tiny bit to my nose and then for this I'm gonna use my sponge 
So I'm just going to quickly set my under eye with a little bit of a loose setting powder. This is not a K-Beauty product. This is actually a $1 setting powder that I discovered. Um, if you watched my Shop Misa video, you'll know what powder this is. But this is so good. So I'm just going to really, really lightly just set my under eye with this. And then for the rest of my face, I'm super excited about trying this. This is the Face Shop Oil Clear Smooth and Bright Powder. It has SPF 30. It says um, it's oil absorbing. And then I'm just going to read you a little bit of information that's on the box. I did keep the packaging so that I could read this to you. Um, this smooth and bright press powder makes the skin baby look without shine makes the skin look baby soft clear and bright it's a mattifying formula that prevents shine and keeps makeup from darkening so it pl says apply to the face with the puff provided or a makeup brush and i got the shade natural beige and it comes in this cute little compact and then it's got a nice little puff that you can use and then that's the powder right there so i'm super excited about using this i am actually going to use this on a small brush i want to leave my skin really natural and um, very dewy and luminous so i'm not going to set my entire face i'm just going to go in with a small brush like this and just apply a tiny bit to the areas where i get a little bit shiny so that's mainly my t-zone but i've actually never tried this powder so we'll see how this goes all right so that's the those are the only areas that i'm going to powder i like it so far when you feel it with your finger it is so buttery soft and velvety and smooth it feels amazing on your fingers and um, it's just such a nice powder so I'm gonna play around with this some more uh, maybe one day I'll use it to set my face and see how that works but today I just wanted to set the areas where I get a little bit shiny because this is a mattifying powder and I don't want my face to be cakey with powder so I just want to apply a little bit and moving on to the eyes we're gonna go ahead and do the brows um, I picked up the Misha smudge proof wood brow this is in the shade number four gray brown and this is just a standard sharpenable wood eyebrow pencil nothing special but I was swatching it in the store and I really liked the formula it's not too waxy and it's not too creamy it's that perfect in between so that's why I chose this one instead of a retractable pencil which is usually what I'm more drawn to but um I just loved the shade of this and I loved the formula. Now what I've been noticing with a lot of Asian beauty is the brows are a little bit more straight. They're pretty thick and they're more straight. They don't have that high arch that we see in a lot of Western beauty. So I'm going to straighten out my brows a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm still going to follow the natural shape of my brows, but I think I'm going to kind of bring my brow a little bit straighter right in this arch area and um, kind of play around with my brow shape a little bit. So I just want to show you, see right in here where we would normally kind of more arch the brow right in this area, I'm kind of going more straight across here and filling in this little area right here where normally we would leave that blank so the brow looked a little bit more arched but see how it just kind of gives the brow a little bit more of a straight shape without looking too crazy All right, so my brows look pretty thick, but I kind of love this. Like, um, I've been noticing, I'm just gonna set them with some clear brow gel. Um, what I've noticed is they kind of have this more of a masculine brow look. Um, and that's kind of what I've noticed with a lot of stuff I've been reading and um, pictures and photos I've been looking at. It's definitely more of a masculine brow because it is more straight across rather than that really intense arch that we're all used to. Um, but I'm kind of digging it. It's a little intense at first and it's going to take some getting used to, but I kind of like it. 
All right, and for the eyes, what I've noticed in a lot of different Asian makeup looks, it's very minimal. It's usually a light wash of color with a little bit of liner. Um, I have noticed that they really do use a lot of winged liner in their looks, which I'm not going to do today. But in terms of the eyeshadow, it's usually just a nice wash of color over the lid. Nothing too crazy. Definitely not anything like a cut crease or the really smoky eyes that we're used to doing all the time used to seeing all the time it's more of just a very subtle wash of color just to give the eyes a little bit of dimension so for this I picked up the uh, click pen shadow this is from that same brand that is part of the Misha brand um, and then this is in the shade PK01 and it's just this really really pretty metallic rose gold shade so this is a click pen so you click it now you have to be careful with these because they don't go back in so don't click it up too high otherwise when you put the cap on you're just gonna smash the eyeshadow so I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid and just give my eyes a nice wash of color and that is all I'm going to do for the eyes actually I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlight stick I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlight stick on my finger I'm just gonna apply that to my brow bone and then just a tiny bit use my pinky on the inner corner of my eye But that is it for the eyes. I love how simple it is and it just looks so beautiful without trying too hard. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes off camera and then I'm going to apply a little bit of my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I completely forgot to pick up um, a mascara, but I will in the future. I promise you guys I will definitely be picking up some more products, but I didn't pick up one this time. So I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara off camera. All right, so lashes are on, and last but not least, we're going to do the lips. Now, I have never been a huge lip person. I don't get excited about lipsticks. I don't get excited about lip glosses or lip products in general. But when it comes to K-Beauty, oh my goodness, I kind of went crazy, and I love how they do their lips and the different products that they have it's just it's so different than what we have um, here in the states and I just I think it's so fascinating so I picked up two I'm only going to use one t well maybe we'll do both we'll do both okay so the first one I picked up is the Misha lasting paint or yeah, lasting painting tint in the shade pink forest it says it's a long time lasting high colored tint with only one touch color stays vividly for a long time without reapplying by excellent tint coloring effect vivid color helps to express vitalized lips with only one touch hybrid gelling ingredient keeps your lips moist without stickiness by creating moisture protecting shield so the directions, it says, take an appropriate amount using tip and apply from the inner side of the lips to the outer side. So I actually have used this before. It's a really interesting product. It's almost like a really opaque gloss, um, almost like the NYX Butter Glosses. However, when this gloss, either you remove it or it wears off throughout the day, it leaves a stain on your lips, which I think is so amazing. And then something else that I got is the Face Shop Watery Tint. This is in the shade Cherry Red, and this reminds me a lot of Benefit's Benetint, which is the uh, their lip and cheek stain that they have. So this is a very, very watery formula, and it's just supposed to stain the lips. So I am slightly obsessed with with the whole lip stain um, concept and they do this style of lip so well and I've been looking at photos of this so I'm gonna show you what I mean by this so this is kind of whoops so this is kind of the um, lip that I've been looking at recently it's a lot more pigmented on the inside of the lip and then it gradually um, diffuses into nothing and this trend is so different than Western makeup because we're so used to seeing overdrawn lips really really matte lips bold lips making the lips look as full as possible by overlining them and overdrawing them whereas this 
it's the same thing where they they're making the lips look very plump and juicy and voluptuous but the technique is completely opposite it's about adding the most pigment right to the inner portion of your lip and then fanning it out but it still makes the lips look so beautiful and juicy and healthy so I'm just so fascinated by this technique and I am in no way an expert on it and I've been trying to like figure out the best way to do it and um, I actually have a really really good video that I'm going to link below it's a tutorial that this girl does and she does four different types of um, lip techniques and I'm gonna list it I'm gonna link it below because it's such a good video and you can see exactly what I'm trying to accomplish or what I'm going to try and accomplish today and what I'm talking about so I said I was gonna try both but then I just realized these are stains and they don't come off so today I'm gonna go in with the watery tint and then do not worry I will be doing plenty more videos using K Beauty products and I will incorporate this one in one of those but I am super excited about using this watery tint and I've had my eye on it and I really want to try it today so I'm first going to remove my lip balm all right so in that video I'm actually going to try and replicate her technique um, she says to apply concealer to the lips basically you just want to start out with a clean uh, canvas then in the video she takes the whatever lip tint she's using but just a little bit on the bottom a little bit on the top and then it just creates this nice little kind of like you've been sucking on a popsicle or a lollipop or something it gives the most beautiful effect so I'm gonna try that Alright, so that looks pretty good. And uh, FYI, if you get it on your teeth, it will stain your teeth. Like I'm staining my teeth right now. Alright, and then um, since this is a stain, it is matte and it's kind of drying out my lips a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with that uh, lip treatment. Alright, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that lip treatment and apply that on top. Ooh, I definitely like it better when it's glossy. That's pretty. Alright guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this inspired you to go and try out some K-Beauty products. I promise you will not be disappointed. I am so excited to delve into the K-Beauty world and really just research and really kind of dig in to all the different techniques and products that they have. And I'm just so excited to learn more about the K-Beauty world. So I hope this was helpful. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope y'all are having a blessed week and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.